Hello! This is a quick off-the-cuff video that I'm making whilst I'm doing a little bit of experimentation with the Sega Light Phaser, which is a light gun for the Sega Master System. Now, this is not a peripheral that I have any great uh, experience with uh, programming for or handling myself in the past, so I thought it'd be quite an interesting way to just get back into a little bit of Sega Master System programming. Now, I've made myself a, uh, a modified uh, afterburner cartridge here, where I have unsoldered the original Mastrom, which is here, and replaced it with a socket so I can plug in flash memory. And in this case, I have an AM29F010B, which is a 128 kilobyte or one megabit flash memory. Uh, there are a couple of pins that are different uh, between one of these flash memories and the original mask ROMs, so to accommodate that I've got a little double pole, double throw switch up here that allows me to swap the pin connections around. In this case I need it to be on flash, so I'm going to put that in there, and it's running a little test program that I wrote to uh, handle the Sega light phaser. So if uh, start the master system, it should come up with a very bright screen. There we go, hello world, this is running on Sega master system, hooray, still got my hello world message on there. But you see, if I now point the gun at the screen, that is now tracking the position uh, that the gun is aiming in. And it's doing it very, very accurately and very quickly. This is running at 50 frames a second, which I know you can't see because my camera only does 25, but if I try to line that up, you can see that little red crosshair in the middle is tracking very accurately. Um, and it also do it over a very large distance. If I get up and walk away, probably not going to be able to see that on the camera, but well, you have to take my word for it, that is still tracking the red dot in the middle there. I'll come back in again so you can actually see what I'm doing. Now if I pull the trigger, it will actually freeze in position. Do I let go? So I can just capture certain events there. Uh, if I freeze it and then zoom in a bit... Oops. If my camera is going to let you see that, maybe. Uh, you can see that there in the centre is the little red crosshair showing the detected aim position. Okay, sorry about the... Uh, Flicker, that's just natural when it comes to recording a CRT. Uh, but the little green box around it indicates the uh, minimum and maximum values that have been detected from the hardware. Uh, so it's sort of averaging that out, and you can probably see there that the um, the minimum and maximum Y position is very stable, the minimum X position is very stable, but the maximum Y position being detected is very wobbly indeed. So in fact, to handle the uh, horizontal position, rather than um, you, you know, take the average between the, or rather take the halfway point between the minimum and maximum, I assume that the uh, gun is seeing a circular area, and that the width of the detected area is the same as its height. So in fact I just offset from the minimum edge by half of the height of the bounding rectangle for where it's detecting that the gun has aimed. But uh, yeah, I was just very surprised that the uh, the gun is this accurate. I mean, I'm not even having to flash up a bright white screen. This is tracking live on a on a light blue screen. So uh, of, of course you can get a more reliable lock on with a uh, a white screen. And in terms of actual, if you had a game on there, uh, if you were to aim at a sort of a black region or a dark blue region or a sort of a, a maroon region, the gun wouldn't necessarily see it. So for actual gameplay, you'd still want it to flash up white when you pull the trigger. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue doing a bit of experimentation. Um, the code is an absolute pig's ear at the moment, because this is the first time I've written anything for the Master System uh, in years. I'm also going to have to do a little bit of experimentation with, uh, of course, the second gun port. I've only got the one gun at the moment, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this works. But yeah, I just thought it was very impressive with just how well the, uh, the Master System gun tracks um, on a CRT, and my code is it's very simple, so I knocked this together a couple of hours over the, over the evening, uh, of over an evening, and uh, yeah. Anyway, watch this space, I shall uh, post any updates for any findings, and of course, uh, when it's all done, I shall release the code so you can, so other people can test it themselves and see how well it works on their master system and uh, with their guns. Anyway, thanks for watching.